Bank Stadium. Here's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to... The defense was prepared, but I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. This pass into the arms of Sneed. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On the option is Jackson. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Boy, the pursuit there, terrific from the linebacking core. Oh, it certainly was because so many times on an option play, you'll see a linebacker make a beeline for the quarterback and then zip, one cut, and he's grasping it air. But this time, he locked in on him the whole way, took an excellent angle, and his grasp came up with the quarterback. It's a six-yard loss on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Now Jackson. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39. And obviously, that's well short of the first. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. Fourth down, here's Jackson. And that is going to be incomplete. Jalen Ramsey right there in coverage to knock it away. So they'll trudge off the field with a bitter taste in their mouths after that failed fourth down conversion. Yeah, there will be a lot of analysis there on the sidelines. Was it the right call? Was it, the, was it against the right defense? Should they have even gone for it at all? Will that change what they do going forward in this game? A lot of questions to be answered by them. The defense doesn't really care. They're like, bring it on again. We'll stop you the next time, too. And they're going to have this in a great spot way down in Baltimore territory. Marlin, a huge play that time for the Rams. 51 yards on the ground. They'll run here with Akers. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Los Angeles. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Rams are going to take a first-quarter lead. Well, that was a quick hitter drive. They had the huge play to get him down near the goal line, and then they run it in. I don't know that the defense ever had a chance to catch their breath. A lot of the time now, when we see people hit big plays, and each team defines a big play their own way, 10, 15-yard gains. In this case, it was a huge gain. They often want to hurry up and go right away. Keep the momentum going, hit them again, and I think we just saw that there. The second play resulted in pay dirt. At their own 21-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Marching in for the sack, Michael Brockers. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. And he fires one that's intercepted. 
Troy Hill picks it, and he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. Now this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six, and just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visits. What do we hear during these drills? Pass. Pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Ah, ski. That's the interception. That means everybody finds someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball... He's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount. Here's his opportunity. It all comes back to those defensive backs for the formal deep, former DB, right? I don't know. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. It's now third down. Off the play fake to Dobbins, here's Jackson. They'll roll him out right. Going right side here, and that's complete. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. A little risky there when you roll out of that pocket right like he did. You complete the pass, but you don't get anything out of it. But how many times have we seen when a quarterback exits out of the pocket? Doesn't matter if they go left or right. The defense loses its leverage, right? They, there's a little chaos back there, and, and receivers come open. Great discipline on that play. They didn't let that happen and held it to no gain. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And boy, possession here turns over with a football already being in the red zone. Off play action to Akers. Here's Goff. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. He was in search of his tight end, Tyler Higby. And that'll bring up second down. Second and ten. It's Woods. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Goff hitting Woods for a Rams first. That's all, folks.